Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stealing 33 Plays Nuclear Throne. I'm Stealing 33, and thank you for coming. Uh, so this is Nuclear Throne. Uh, this is a uh, top-down twin-stick shooter uh, about these funny little characters trying to make their way to the mythical Nuclear Throne. Um, this is going to be a series that I'm doing alongside XCOM. Uh, it's a little bit more thrilling, and I've been playing some Nuclear Throne. I got to tell you, really have been. Um, uh, every week they wipe your save, and so I've played enough this week to get the characters unlocked, but nothing else. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm thinking that for this, I'm probably just gonna go until, like, either X time, or, you know, actually just until X time, or until I beat the game. Uh, whichever comes first. Um, dying won't matter, I'll just restart and play over again. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to go in order of the characters. I'm going to play them from left to right, and then we'll mix around or play random or something like that. But so first on the docket is Fish. Um, so Fish's special ability is that he can roll. He can kind of do like a dodge roll type thing. Uh, and all the characters start with like this like little revolver doodle that you can kind of see Fish has. Uh, you, left -click, you left click to fire, and you right click to do your dodge roll and whatever. And then later you get other weapons and stuff. Uh, firing your gun gives you screen shake, things like that. Um, and yeah, other than that, there's not really much to do. Um, let me know if the screen shake bothers any of you, because I'll turn it off. You can turn off the screen shake. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all, um, but I know it bothers some people. And I am aware of this fact. Like, now I have a shotgun. Uh, shotgun's pretty good, actually. Uh, better than the revolver by, by sure. But, um, the shotgun takes shell ammo, which you can see right, right here. This is, like, my ammo counter. This is my experience, and this is my life. Um, every level you get, uh, when you kill something, it drops, like, like, little green bars of, like, nuclear energy, which you use to level up. And, uh, when you level up, we'll figure that out when we get there. So for now, playing as, a uh, playing as fish. Fish can roll. Ow, 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 damn it. Um, I'm still by no means good at this, by the way, uh, so if you're watching this to watch somebody be good at Nuclear Throne, uh, I'll get there. It's just not, that time is not now, um, at all. The pop gun's pretty good. I like the pop gun. Uh, it's basically a machine gun that shoots shotgun bullets. Uh, it's a little worse than, like, a regular gun, but it's still better than the revolver. The revolver's pretty good, but it's, uh, really slow, so, you know, not really much I can do. I can't believe I walked into that maggot. I, uh, I feel like an asshole. Alright, so we leveled up, so now we get to pick, uh, some stuff. Kills lower your reload time is pretty good, but I'm gonna take Boiling Veins. Basically, like, what Boiling Veins does is if you're at four or less HP, it, uh, makes it so you can't be hurt by explosives. Or any kind of explosion, and so that's really useful, but I died. So it's not gonna- oops, I hit, hit R. That's right, we'll go back and fish. Not a big deal. Uh, the game's really fast. Lots of there's a lot going on on screen all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, but I've been, it's a really fun game. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, if you want to pick it up, it's on Steam. It's on. A, it's currently in early access, which means they're adding stuff. But it's basically feature complete at this point. The rest of it's just fine tuning and making the game like adding more to the game or like changing existing stuff to it. Um, oh, come on, fish, roll, roll, no fish, no. Uh, it's fun. You know, it's a lot of fun. It's it's an interesting game. Um, like, uh, it takes a lot, like, it's a lot like The Binding of Isaac, but, you know, not The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> uh, it's nice, it's fun, it's colorful. And that's something that you can't say about a lot of games nowadays. Very colorful. Got that laser pistol, much better than Revolver. Uh, let's go ahead and take Second Stomach. It'll give us, uh, more healing for med kits, which, uh, you saw me pick up a couple of those last round. They have, like, a little plus signs on them, you know, like a classic med kit would look. Oop, I didn't want to switch to my, uh, Mace. Okay, so this is the boss. This is the Bandit King or whatever. I think he's Big Bandit or something like that, but he is the Big Bandit. Uh, he has a couple abilities. He's got a machine gun, and he, uh, he likes to charge people like that. They're, like... That. Uh, if that hits me, I die. Uh, even no matter how much HP I have, it kills me. Oh. Cool. And the game's very, very bullet helly. Um, a lot of dodging involved. It's you get kind of hectic, especially in the later levels. There's lots of bullets on screen. Uh, it can get pretty hard. 
Alright, so we're just going around here, smashing things with my sledgehammer. The sledgehammer's a good weapon. It's probably the best of the melee weapons. It's slow, but it always one-shots things, so that's pretty good. And if you take Scare Your Face, which reduces enemy HP, uh, it helps out a lot, especially in the sewers, where you now always one-shot things. Everything in the sewers is one-shot by your mace, or by your sledgehammer, if you uh, have Scary Face, except for the crocodile guys. Totally forgot those guys existed. Um, crocodile guys are an asshole. They have shotguns. They do a lot of damage. You, fuck you. Laser pistol's really good. Um, it fires very quickly. It does pretty good damage. Uh, and I think they buffed it in one of the last little more recent patches. Don't quote me on that, but they might have. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Easy does it. I'm sorry if my keyboard cracks a little bit, crackles a little bit. Um, my mic is just really sensitive, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm really sorry. Um, if it gets too bad, I'll like try to find a place to put it where it's not so bad. But uh, this is what I got to deal with right now. I'm real sorry. Um, pull up that card. Now, if we can find a screwdriver, one of the cars on this level is golden. And if you smack it with a screwdriver, it turns into a flying car, and you can take it to a special level. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there's another secret on the uh, on the sewer level, actually. Um, where if uh, you had a grenade launcher, one of the uh, platforms looks a little different, like one of the sewer grates looks different. And if you smash it, it uh, brings you to like a Ninja Turtle level, where you can fight the Ninja Turtles and Splinter. Ooh, Splinter Gun. Hi, how are you today? Um, I've never actually used the Splinter Gun before, so I didn't know what it did, but now I do. Um, it looks like it takes bolt ammo, if I had to guess. Uh, ooh, ah, alright. Now, I don't have boiling veins, so explosions can still hurt me. I don't like any of these, actually. Um, we'll take a lucky shot. Lucky shot's not... It's probably the best out of all of those. Um, it basically it regenerates bullets when you kill stuff, which, you know, can be useful. Uh, it regenerates ammo, not bullets. Uh, the game's very particular. If it says bullets, it means bullets. If it says, you know, ammo, it means anything, something like that. This and this and one of these. All right. So far, so good. Um, this isn't the worst round I've ever had. Uh, we got to the the scrapyards. This level is filled with lots of birds and other bullshit. You know what? I don't trust myself with the bazooka. I don't have boiling veins, so that's a dangerous pick, to be honest. Um, a fun pick, but dangerous. And you know, we want to try to win. Doing pretty good. So far, so good. I mean, like I said, this isn't the worst game or the worst round I've ever played. It's uh, not the best. Um, I one time made it all the way to the ice level, which is the like two after this one, like after this set of levels. Well, that place is kind of nuts. Back muscle is really good. Allows us to carry more ammo, which is you know important. Oh, I died. The assassin got me. All right, let's go ahead and restart. No big deal. Uh, really salty about that assassin killing me, actually. <laughs> That's alright. We'll just have to restart. So now we're back. Level 1. I need to roll more. Uh, the roll's not as useful. Like, some of the other characters have, like, really good special abilities. Fishes is, like, alright, but it's not super good. Um, when you get the augment, there's an ability called Throne Butt that you can take when you level up. Uh, that makes, fit, makes it so fish can, like, roll forever, which makes it better, but it's still not... It's not good. Like, if you play as, like, Crystal, Crystal can, like, um... Crystal can, like, turn into a big crystal and block bullets, which is pretty good. But, what are you gonna do? Uh, die! Die, maggot scum! Turn and fight, maggot! Boosh! Um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did pick up this grenade launcher last level. Pretty good weapon. Uh, again, dangerous. Any explosive's pretty dangerous, um, if you don't have boiling veins, because you can get yourself killed with it. Uh, there is friendly fire, you can't hurt yourself. Uh, go ahead and just... Alright. Missed terribly. Got it. Bullets? Cool. Uh, I really want to get rid of this, uh, this revolver as quickly as possible. Um... And I'd prefer not to hold on to the, the grenade launcher at all. But the crossbow's pretty good. Um, the crossbow's really good. It shoots in a direct line. It has a pretty long cooldown, though. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. 
Uh, boiling veins. Always gotta take it. Boiling veins, super good. No reason not to take it. Uh, unless maybe you got, like, if Bolt Marrow was there. Bolt Marrow's, like, one of the other abilities that... It makes it so your bolts from your crossbow and stuff, like, hone in on the enemy. Uh, that's really good. Especially if you have a crossbow. You should have... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Big Bandit has spawned. Oop. And the music changes to like boss music when you when he spawns. Just keep hitting him. All right, he's dead. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just keep rolling, running, and running, running, and running. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, go over here. Oh, damn it. All right, just keep going. No big deal. Uh, Fish is not my favorite character. Um, I'd have to say Steroids is probably my favorite character. Um, he's a lot of fun. He can dual wield, and he uh, he can like shoot both guns at the same time, which is really good. Um, grab that instead of that. The machine gun, really good. It's basically just a better version of the revolver. Really good gun. Uh, but Steroids can dual wield, so he can fire both guns at the same time. And uh, his throne butt is... Uh, he, all the weapons he uses become semi or fully automatic, and 20% of the bullets don't cost you an ammunition. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. I uh, I like I like him a lot. I like him, and I like uh, chicken's pretty good. Um, I like chicken. Uh, chicken starts with a sword and can slow down time, which is pretty good. And now that I understand what Eyes does, Eyes is pretty good. Eyes has telekinesis. He can uh. He pulls objects towards him and repels enemy bullets a little bit. And then the throne butt just makes that effect stronger. So it, like, just does more. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a laser pistol. Got max energy. No, oh, fish! Damn it! Uh, we leveled up. That's fine. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. So, second stomach, more HP for medkits is really good. Scarier face is really, really good. And rhino skin is really, really good. But I'm gonna go with scarier face. Rhino skin would have helped a lot, but um, I think also not being able to just murder things really quickly is probably going to help more than having them have me have me have more HP. You know, best offense is, or best defense is a good offense, that kind of thing, that kind of deal. Um, and I'm not really, I'm not the best at the game yet, so I probably shouldn't be saying that, but whatever. Oh, oh, oh I rolled into it. Damn it. Um, that's right. Just gotta keep going. Keep trying, man. I get better eventually, right? That's the way this works. If at first you don't see, try and try again. Um, the thing I'm excited about with the Fear Throne, though, uh, more than anything, is that this game got a lot of replayability. Uh, every time you play it, it's a little different. And uh, that's really exciting. I really suck. God damn it. I'm really not doing very well right now. Uh, what's it? Assault Rifle. The Assault Rifle is really good. Shoots three bullets. The bullets do really good damage. Um, oh, we leveled up, too. That's all that matters. All that matters is leveling up. Hopefully we get, like... I mean, back ammo's really good. Eagle Eye's really good. So is Plutonium Hunger. All of these are really good. I don't have a laser weapon, so I don't want to take Laser Brain. There's no reason to do that. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Plutonium Hunger. Uh, Plutonium Hunger is really good. It basically increases the distance that stuff gets, like, pulled to me by a lot. So, like, I don't have to, like, get near stuff to pull it in. So I don't have to, like, keep Baha'ing into the middle of the enemies to get the experience. Uh, which is really nice, you know? Uh, it also pulls in, like, crates and stuff, so, like, that med kit, I can grab it from, like, here, instead of having to, like, touch it, which is nice. Uh, now if I could just get, like, one of the bullet augments, that'd be, that'd be sweet. Uh, cause there's a bunch of abilities that, like, change the way your bullets work, um, which is good, and it only affects bullets. We're gonna take Rabbit Paw. Uh, Rabbit Paw makes, makes it so that there's a lot more drops. Uh, in the game, like, when you're playing, which is, like, super good. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Fuck you, big bandit! Alright. Keep taking them out. Alright, we got him. Totally got him. All's well. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Uh, pop cut's pretty good. Um, it's I, I like it. It's a fun weapon to use. It shoots very fast, and the bullets use uh, shotgun physics. 
their biggest problem is that those bullets don't count as bullets then because of the way that they're because of the um the shotgun physics um so you know they don't get affected by like uh there's like blighted land or something like that um it's a good one slower any boat bullets is good uh, but i'm gonna take more hp for med kits we're really low on health and um Getting healed is my top priority right now. Uh, triple machine gun's not bad. Uh, it's really good if you can get up close to somebody and use it, but, you know, otherwise it's just you waste a lot of ammo, because I think it fires, yeah, it fires three bullets per shot, which is, you know, cool, I guess. The bullets, the, you can carry the most bullets out of all the weapons in the game, um, but, you know, that being said, shooting three at once is still pretty bad. And, like, two of the bolts don't even go where you're aiming. They just sort of go... Like, there's a... You can see the... That weird uh, manhole is a, a special level. Damn it. Alright, I think we got time for another run. Um, really bad. I'm real sorry. Cool, cool. Slugger. Slugger's really good. It's basically, like, a compact shotgun uh, where it shoots. Instead of, like, spreading out really crazy, the slugs all go and, like... A line, basically. Uh, well, you see, but see, it like goes in like a line. Uh, Slugger does insane damage, like like literally, like the most insane damage ever. Uh, it's super good. Um, if you have something called uh, impact wrists, if you have impact wrists, it sends the enemy flying, which uh, their corpse can do damage to stuff that it bumps into. So that's pretty good. Uh, I. Suck bullets. Fuck you. Boom, I killed you. Laser pistol, real good. Grab that. Fuck yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. I didn't level up. Not leveling up at the first level sucks, but it's not like it's not the end of the world. Um because it normally means like the next level is just gonna have more more stuff on it. Which is good. Um you should really use the revolver until I get um, more energy. <laughs> disc gun. Oh, okay. Let's get a little crazy. So the disc gun is cool because it, like, bounces, but it's not cool because the bouncing blade can kill me. Uh, so it's, like, a really dangerous weapon to use. Uh, it does a lot of damage, and it's really good versus bosses, but uh, it's dangerous. We're gonna take laser brain. I'm using a laser pistol right now. So, uh, there's, like, the, there's not a not good reason to do that. Um, rhino skin would have been pretty useful, but I'll be straight. I don't need rhino skin if I can murder all of them really quickly. Let's go ahead and move out of the way of that. So, you see, like, like you saw, the, the disc gun does, like, insane damage, but if those discs hit me, I'll die. Like, I think, I don't know if they're a one-hit kill, but they certainly do, they do tons of damage. So... They're kind of dangerous. Uh, but if I'm, like, if I'm, like, clever about the way that I'm shooting this thing, it should be fine. Oh, oh okay. Good. We're good. We're good. Oh, ow! See? See? I fucking killed myself. Um, we got time for one more. I should not- I should just not take the disc gun. I am not skilled enough at this game to use the disc gun. It does stupid damage, but damn, is it not a dangerous weapon to use. I also need to stop missing and actually learn to aim. Crossbow's good. I like the crossbow. Uh, crossbow does really good damage. Okay. It's slow, but really good damage. Screwdriver! Alright. Um, so now we can go to that special level. Uh, screwdriver's just a really short-range melee weapon. Uh, I mean, with longer arms, it's a little better, but I can't not take Rabbit Paw. Rabbit's Paw is really, really good. Uh, longer arms would have helped, because it makes the it makes the screwdriver less terrible to use. Um, but, you know, depends on who you ask. Uh, you know what? F the screwdriver. F the secret level. Assault rifle. Too good. Um, screwdriver is just dangerous. If I get one, like, on the level beforehand, I may take it and use it to get to the secret level. Or if I get one on the level, that'd be pretty cool. Machine gun. I like the machine gun more than I like the assault rifle. Which I'm probably wrong about, but you know, I got good damage in the form of my um, in the form of my crossbow, so I don't need to 
I'd rather be able to, like, shoot two bullets and kill somebody. I'm in on that. Uh, let's go ahead... Let's take Euphoria. Euphoria slows down the enemy bullets as they get near me. Uh, which makes it a lot easier to dodge them. Which is good. I don't know if that affects, like... I think that only affects red bullets. Like, so you see, like, the... Like, these guys shoot red bullets. I think it only affects them. Oh, come on. Come on, then. Alright, cool. That guy's dead. You ain't shit. Um, there's another disc gun right there, which, you know... I learned from my mistakes. I won't take the disc gun again. I promise. If I had gone, like, less ham with the bullets, I think it would have been fine. But, I mean... I am not good enough. I'm just not good enough yet. And sewers are scary. I don't have scary, scarier face. I have a regular face right now, so... Uh, you know, the rats take a lot of bullets to kill when you don't have scarier face. I don't want to use my crossbow, because crossbow ammo is less than my bullet ammo. Oh. Right, cool. That worked really well. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I'm not very good at twin stick shooters. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at, like, regular shooters, but twin stick ones, I always get all, all confused. I have a hard time watching my character and my cursor at the same time. Um, like, I'm really good at uh, Paranautical Activity. I don't know if you guys, uh, if you've never heard of that. Great game. Um, but your Plutonium Hunger is really good. I like that. Um, it's very useful in the junkyard. We haven't even seen the boss of the junkyard yet. I mean, let's be real here. Take these guys out. These guys spit fire because they're assholes. Um, and these things shoot fire because they're assholes. There's a lot of assholes on this level. Oh, oh, okay. Easy does. Ah, damn it. I should have backed up and out. Uh, alright. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for, uh, more Nuclear Throne. Um, and if you like what you saw from me, don't forget to check out the other videos that I've done. Uh, but with that, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-ya!